Robin Carlin at the Denver Post Sports Desk. The Broncos are practically on the clock. What will John Elway do with the Broncos' 31st overall pick in tonight's NFL Draft? Trade up, trade down, draft a quarterback? Paxton Lynch, Connor Cook, Dak Prescott, and Jeff Driscoll all visited with the Broncos over the past month. Or could they trade for a quarterback? San Francisco 49ers GM Trent Belke told ESPN on Wednesday that Colin Kaepernick may finally be traded this week. Specifically, he said, quote, anything is possible with any player. Belke's comments, while vague, do show the 49ers' willingness to deal Kaepernick. The question remains, will they be making a deal with John Elway? Broncos fans, the wait is almost over. We'll find out tonight live from the Windy City. The LA Rams will select first at 6 o'clock. Von Miller was back in Denver yesterday, but not to join his teammates in off-season workouts. He's here for his annual Von's Vision charity event at Sports Authority Field. Still unsigned, Miller told the media that negotiations are just business and that there's no hard feelings. The Super Bowl 50 MVP said he's expecting a deal with the Broncos any day. The Rockies and Pirates squared off last night at Coors Field for the third game of a four-game series. Five hours, 12 innings, and 33 hits later, there was a winner, and it wasn't your Colorado Rockies. Down 7-0 in the fourth inning, the Rocks battled back to tie things up at 8. Trevor Story, who was rested on Tuesday, bucked his six-game slump, hitting his ninth home run of the season. Nolan Arenado, Ryan Rayburn, and Geraldo Parra also homered, but in the bottom of the 12th, with runners on second and third, Story struck out to end the game. It's worth noting that Story looked at strike three, which was a questionable call at best. Even the umpires were ready for bed. The two teams will square off again today. First pitch at 110. Rocks pitcher Tyler Chatwood will tow the mound against former Rockies pitcher Juan Nicasio. Off the field, pitcher Jorge De La Rosa was added to the DL with a strained groin to fill the open spot. Right-handed pitcher Eddie Butler was called up from AAA and saw some action last night, throwing two and a third innings, allowing two hits and one run, but ringing up four strikeouts. In the NBA playoffs, the Golden State Warriors advanced to the conference semis after defeating the Houston Rockets last night. They'll square off against the winner of the Trail Blazers Clippers series, which is now 3-2 in favor of Portland. And over in the East tonight, the Atlanta Hawks look to close out their series against the Celtics. That one tips off at 6 o'clock. In the Stanley Cup playoffs, San Jose finally knows who their opponent for round two will be. The Predators sent the Ducks packing last night and now have a date with the Sharks on Friday. You're up to date, sports fans. I'm Robin Carlin with some of our top stories from DPTV.